stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for a moment of silence. Coming up on today's show, we have some important announcements and a new what's good. Get ready because RNE TV Live starts now. Good morning, Cavs. Today is Monday, May 1st, 2023. I'm Zoe Beecraft. Today is National School Principals Day. Special shout out to Mr. Sims. Let's get right into today's top stories. Jada Pinkett Smith is looking for a new network for her web-based show, Red Table Talk. The Facebook Watch Originals show has been canceled. It comes as Facebook parent Meta pivots away from producing original programming. Pickett Smith co-hosted the popular talk show along with her daughter, Willow Smith, and Pickett Smith's mother, Adrienne Banfield Norris. The show featured the trio hosting candid conversations with celebrities, experts, and public figures, and often dove deep into topics like social justice, relationships, and female empowerment. On Thursday, Pickett Smith thanked Facebook Watch on her verified Instagram account and said she is actively looking for a new home for the show. From big shiny robots to colorfully dressed wedding guests, it seems everyone on the big screen is doing a battle. David Daniel looks at all the film fights in today's Hollywood Minute. This is not our war. Optimus, we must trust each other to protect the home we all share. How big can this guy be? Uh, he eats planets. So, like, way bigger than a planet. It's Autobots and Maximals against the big bad Unicron in the first full trailer for Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Anthony Ramos leads the humans caught in the interstellar robot war. Transformers Rise of the Beasts lands in theaters June 9th. We are going to show Nina who these people really are. Let's A martial artist in training enlists her friends to stop her sister from getting married in polite society. Star Priya Kansara, who did stunt and fight training several times a week for the role, says there's a heart, or rather two hearts, underneath all the action. It's this beautiful love story between these sisters and how they really will go to the ends of the earth for one another. Did you see my kick? Of course I bloody did. It was magical. Polite Society opens in theaters this weekend. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. The Media Center would like to help you boost your vocabulary power by sharing an ACT word of the day. Today's word of the day is mishap, which means an unlucky accident. For example, I got into a mishap on my way to school this morning. Monday Motivation Mindset. Everything is possible. Dream big. Everything in our lives, from cell phones to shoes to makeup to social media, was once someone's big idea. When we let ourselves have big dreams, we are increasing the expectations that we have for our lives. Think about what your big dream is. Brought to you by the School Counseling Department. 
This week, we salute a member of the Class of 2024 as a Cavalier Student of the Week. Congratulations to Medina Albert. Medina earned CCR status and senior privileges by scoring well on the ASVAB. Way to go, Medina. Juniors, do you have CCR status? It's your turn now. Attention work-based learning students. It is now time to turn in your work hours for April. You also need to have your April supervisor evaluation. All paperwork is due May 12th. That is the end of the WBL course. All girls interested in playing tennis next school year, please meet Coach Domino on the Arne tennis courts today through Thursday, May 4th from 4.15 to 5.30 p.m. for practice. Model UN at r &E is starting back up next year. Interested students can scan the QR code to fill out a form in order to know more information in the future or talk to Mr. Sims or Mr. Blair. National Honor Society is partnering with Columbia Animal Services to host an animal shelter drive at r &E. Donations accepted include dog and cat toys, food, collars, cleaning supplies, blankets, and towels. Donations can be dropped off in rooms S104, S204, or the main office, and the drive will be run from April 24th through May 5th. Summer Seniors is a one-week program offered at the University of South Carolina for high-achieving African Americans. Students must be rising high school seniors. Students selected to attend will learn all about the opportunities on campus and what it is like to be a student at USC. The deadline to apply is today. Interested students can visit their junior Google College Classroom for more information. Attention seniors, the deadline to complete the senior exit survey and parchment request is Friday, May 5th at 4 o'clock p.m. Please complete both the survey and parchment request so that you can be cleared for graduation. Please check your emails from Mrs. Cherry for the link. The final book club meeting for this school year is Friday in the Media Center Blue Box during lunch. Book club members are reminded to submit the Google form sent by, to, sent by email to RSVP. You may contact Mrs. P. Williams with any questions. If you're taking an EOC exam or need to remove detention hours, then you should attend RNE's after school EOC Blitz on Monday through Thursday from May 11th from 4 to 5 p.m. in room J103 across from the weight room near the Ox Gym. Snacks will be served. Don't forget, all EOCs count 20% of your final grade. Any student who makes a C or better on the exam will be invited to a barbecue during lunch the last week of May. Next up, Lillian is live in the studio with your Monday celebrations. Good morning, Cavs. I'm Lillian Morosevich, and welcome back to another episode of What's Good. Today is Monday, so let's cover some Monday celebrations. First up, a big congratulations to PCA Dance on their amazing performance of The Egyptian Prince. Y'all did truly amazing and looked great. All of that hard work definitely paid off. Next up, a big congrats to senior Mackenzie Pringle. She finished third place in the long jump, triple jump, and 100 meter high hurdles at the Richland County Track Championship last Wednesday. Way to go, Mackenzie. Our girls soccer team won their last game of the season against Lower Richland with the final score being four to zero. Great work, girls. This was definitely a bittersweet moment since it was Coach Mills' last game coaching with us. Thank you for all you do, Coach. You will be missed. Once again, congrats. Last Friday, we heard from our student body candidates, and just like that, the results are in. Congratulations to our 2023-2024 student body officers. They are Layla Price as your student body president, Tamara Hernandez-Morales as your student body vice president, Alex Washington as your secretary, Adriana Lopez as your parliamentarian, and last but certainly not least, Carolina Bello Cancesco as your social media influencer. Congrats to you all. Now, on to our last celebration for today. Last Friday, the Media Center staff were highlighted. They were gifted a big thank you card from E Hall students and staff for all that they do for us. We are so grateful for you all. 
So as we highlight them, we also congratulate them for all of their hard work. Well, that's all I have for y'all today. If you would like to be featured on an episode of What's Good, tweet at RNE Saber on Twitter and use the hashtag What's Good RNE. We will be back tomorrow for Tip Tuesday. Reporting for RNE TV Live, I'm Lillian Rosovich. Now, back to the Anchor Desk. Thanks, Lillian. Reporting for RNE TV Live, I'm Zoe Beecraft. Remember, it's a great day to be a Cavalier.